Hello, I'm Andrew Van Slars, and today I'm going to show you how to use Git Checkout to discard partial changes to a file and only keep what you need. I've dug up some old code and made some arbitrary changes to it. The point of the code isn't important, and neither are the changes really, but I needed a sample to demonstrate this little trick you can do with Git. The file is a unit test file, so it's nice and long, and I've made some changes to simulate an experience I have quite often. To track down a bug, I've added a bunch of console.log statements to this JavaScript code, and after seeing the data I logged out at different points, I made the changes that were required to fix the bug. Now I need to add these changes to Git and commit them, but I don't want to commit the console.log statements, so I need to clean those up. Typically, I'd go through and I'd find the places where I made these changes, and I could select console.log and delete them. But as luck would have it, Git has a really nice built-in way to allow me to clean these up and keep the changes that I need. So let's get to it. So in my terminal window, I'm just going to run git status. And we'll see that I have a single file that has changes to it. I'll just clear that. So now if I run a git diff, We'll see that I have a bunch of changes. I've added a use strict here. I have a console log here, a console log here. And if I keep going, we'll see that I have some actual code changes, some comments, more console logs. Each one of these independent changes, like we see here, are referred to in Git terminology as a hunk. So I have multiple hunks of code that have changed. Several of these hunks are changes that I don't need at all, and I really just want to discard them. If I wanted to discard all of my changes, I could go in here, and I'll run a git status so I can see the path of the file, and I could do a git checkout dot to get rid of every change I've made, regardless of how many files it is, or I could give it the path to the file, or the subdirectory, and check out the file. That would discard everything I've done. Definitely don't want to do that. What I do want to do is check out pieces of the file. So I can do that with git checkout dash dash patch or the shorter version of that dash p. Since I only have one file here, I don't need to pass the path in, but if I was going to focus on one file out of many that had changed, I could pass the path as another argument here. For now, I'll just run this. And the first thing it's going to do is it's going to bring up my first hunk of code that changed, and it's going to ask me if I want to discard this hunk, and it's going to give me all these options. So Y and N are pretty obvious, yes or no. Yes, I want to discard it. No, I don't. Q is quit. A, I don't remember. D, I also don't remember. So what we can do here is we can type question mark and press enter, and that's going to give us a list of all the options and a description of what those options do. For now, I just want to quit and not do anything and get back out. And we'll start this process over again. So I'm going to get checkout dash P. And I'm going to look at each hunk and I'm going to make a decision. So do I want to keep the use strict that I added? Yes. So again, keeping in mind, discard this hunk is the question. So no, I don't want to discard it. So I use N and it'll jump to the next hunk. Do I want to discard the console log here? Absolutely. Do I want to discard this console log? Yep. This one? Yes. And now I have some actual code changes. So we'll see that I have, I've moved some expects around and added a comment. So I want to keep all of this, so I don't want to discard it. So I'll say no. And now I have another hunk. Now the problem here is I have a console log, but I also have code changes that I want to keep. So the nice thing about this feature is I can pass it S, which means split, and it'll go into that hunk of code and let me make a decision about each individual change. So do I want to discard the console log? Yes. Do I want to discard this? No. Or these? No. So now I've gone through the entire file. 
can look at a status again. I still have that one modified file. If I do a diff, we're going to see that it's much shorter. I have my use strict, and my two chunks of code that I decided to keep, and that's it. All those other console logs are gone. So now I can get add and get commit. And I'm good. So if you work like I do and you end up with a bunch of junk that you don't need once you've tracked down and fixed a bug, then the patch option on Git Checkout is a great way to just make a decision one hunk of code at a time about what you want to discard. And then you can keep the changes that are important. And you don't have to go through and manually clean up all the things you added for debugging purposes. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.